a day for mother, a day for father, a day for feasting, a day for fasting, a day for rights, a day for the environment, a day for love, a day for victory. Days created to remember thing are always strange. We may ask the question, do we need these days? The answer is, yes, we do. Humans are so lost in the sea of knowledge, and the addiction of materialism that we forget about the most basic things, basic wisdom and understanding, the importance of women in the society is one of them. God created humans, we have divided them into male and female based on biological and physical differences. The difference between a human male and a human female is just XY and XX. We have created the rest. We have created a barrier between male and female a barrier so great that we have failed to understand each other. We have created cultures that have dressed male and female differently and decided on the roles they should perform separately. We have created social laws that have made men masters and women slaves. We have broken down human emotions into male and female. Courage is male and patience is female. Experience is male and modesty is female. Pure nonsense. Courage, strength, endurance, wealth, wisdom, joy, Sorrow, love, compassion, spiritual thirst and the other thousands of emotions are neither male nor female, they are human. Women and men are meant to be together, they are just two parts of the human soul. The human soul has no gender. Then where did things go wrong? It is the greed of the powerful. Men who misuse their physical strength used culture, morality, religion, race, laws and customs to enslave women. It was a violent act, it is called rape. Rape is not just physical domination, it is also the cultural, psychological and emotional domination by those who misuse power. The violent act creates the barrier between genders. The violent act breaks the soul into two. Equality of the genders, male, female and transgender, is the only way to stop the violent act. Children must be brought up as human beings and not as male or female. They should play together, sit together, learn together, teach together, pray together, and live together. They should be given the freedom to make their own choices. They should not be dressed differently. They should learn about their biological difference naturally and accept it as a God-created wonder that sustains the human race. Sex should never be considered to be a sin. Religious and cultural fundamentalists who go around saying that sex is a sin are people who believe in the violent act. They use the idea of sex as a sin to make people feel guilty and sad, because they themselves are feel guilty and sad, and are jealous of happy people. So they invent new sins so that they can create mental patients out of people who are otherwise blissful. They use power to suppress, shame and guilt are the causes of all mental illness. The intrinsic violence in the male is combined with guilt feelings derived from the false morality that demonized sex to put the blame on women as a mark of self-justification. Women are blamed just because they possess a female body. This leads to violent acts. Cicero rightly said that the greatest flaw of man is the delusion that personal gain is made by crushing others. Women, who is considered to be weak, is thus crushed. Sexuality, the inner energy that we all possess, is like an arrow and our body male, female or transgender is like a bow. It is the arrow that is projected onto the world. The arrow can be made of flowers of compassion or be made of thorns of hatred. It is our soul that should make the choice. Are we conditioned by the society to love or are we conditioned to hate? Do we give importance to false moralists' violent repressive dogma or to the eternal, compassionate ocean of spirituality that is beyond all dogmas? True spirituality is about enlightenment and love and not what the frustrated moralists say. True spirituality is about male and female coming together to glorify the supreme energy that breathed us into this world, the creation in unison feeling one with the Creator. We should do it every moment and stop from waiting for specific days.